Halloween as we know it today is certainly has its origins in Ireland. It's rooted in this Celtic pagan festivals and you can really see that through some of the things that we do. I think that's the really important thing about Halloween. It's like connection with the, our ancestors. Ireland is a Celtic country, so our Celtic ancestors are very close to us. You've got a mix of the Celts, the Celtic deities and their, their way of life and their rituals and their religion followed the, the seasons. It's a Celtic New Year because they start their year now. For six months where the season was darkness. So now you're at the end of the lit period and some of our traditions like a bonfire, it's kind of like bringing light into the darkness and defying the fact that, you know, that humankind has to, to survive in the darkness. And when you think of the Halloween tradition that we have of the barn brack, it's incredible. It's an Irish cake but there's always a ring in it. But there was a lot of other objects placed in there that could have foretold your future. In fact, it's hard to believe there was any cake at all in it because there was coins for wealth and you know a thimble for a spinsterhood um, and maybe for a button for bachelorhood. It's an ancient custom and it's obviously been handed down for generations, you know, but that idea of foretelling your future, it's still here in our traditions today. When you think of our Halloween games, they're so surrounded by the fact that the, the Halloween fair or this food that has come in from the land is part of the games. And that idea of dressing up in a mask and covering your face, it means that you can go around and be anything you want, really. And it gives a lot of freedom to be um, anyone else. And, you know, you, you kind of can get up to mischief. And Halloween night was often known as mischief night. So, you know, First off, you're out there with your mask and you're scaring people. Could have been made of anything. They could have been made of skin. And we have one that's made out of like a rabbit skin. Pretty terrifying and pretty awful. You would not want to meet somebody on a dark road wearing this mask. So masking is very much a strong tradition. I think that's certainly uh, an Irish tradition that's going back to much more Celtic times and our Celtic ancestors. I mean, we have a particular story that we know, the jack-o'-lantern, this mythical blacksmith. He was a bit mean. He wasn't going to be allowed into hell or heaven. Jack wonders how is he going to find his way to earth. The devil is reputed to have given him a lantern. The belief on Halloween night is that he might be seen like walking the bog land. And, and of course, if you know that story, then you want to scare people and you'll make your own lantern and the way to make a lantern in the past was to use turnips. The belief is that Irish emigrants would have gone to North America and they would have actually um, found it easier to carve other vegetables out there and the idea now that we have pumpkin farmers in Ireland growing fields of pumpkins just for Halloween. It's like a total turnaround. I know the Puka Festival is really transformed into a massive event based on that kind of the, the Puka, but also on that sense of fires and deities and different, you know, gods that the Celts would have looked to. And the idea of wearing headdresses and disguising yourself there's no better place to be in disguise than in Ireland, you know, because it's fun. You could get up to some mischief if you did come to Ireland for Halloween.